All right, guys, we're going to get into our kickboxing. And with our kickboxing, I need to teach you how to throw kicks, right? We did a lot of hands and forward drills for our boxing, which will tie into our kickboxing. But um, I feel like the most important is learning the structure of how to throw a kick. Um, what I'm going to start off with is leg kicks. I feel like the leg kicks are the most common, are the safest to throw if you have the right technique, right? So I'm going to show you an outside and an inside leg kick for orthodox or softball, right? This is me from closed stance when my partner's in the, my partner or my opponent is in the same stance as me, right? Um, I like to do it on the back, so you, you can do it in the gym with your partner, right? But you can also do this in your garage with a, a punching bag, or the gym's got a bag, right? It's a great way to rep out your kicks, right? Um, instead of having to have someone stand there and let me kick them a thousand times, I can kick this bag as much as I possibly want to, to, to develop endurance, develop that strength, that power, as well as just the ultimate technique on how to throw a kick, right? So what I'm gonna start off with is a uh, my rear leg, outside leg kick, okay? So this will be my opponent here. What I'm gonna do here is I'm, gonna, I'm facing this way so you guys can see it, is I'm gonna throw my, my leg kick, okay? So always start with our hands up, our chin down, we're in our fight position, okay? Um, when I throw my outside leg kick, I need to get off that center line. Right here, I'm in the offensive line of my opponent. I have to get out of the way. So when I throw that, I want to try to get my head and my body out of the way. And by doing that, I'm going to be loading my hips at the same time. So my left front leg here, I'm going to step out. And see how my, my foot is facing, right? I'm not, I'm not stepping out and facing it forward, because now look, my hips are still forward. And so when I throw that kick, there's not very much hip rotation. But when I step out, look what it does to my hips, right? For instance, I'm stepping up and forward, my hips are square. If I step out, look, my hips are open and ready to really turn this back leg kick, okay? So when I step out, I wanna step out on the ball of my feet so I can rotate and turn on it, as well as it's gonna load my hips. All right, so now in front of this bag, hands are up, right, I'm gonna step out. After I stepped out, I'm gonna start bringing my kick in, right? Start with the hip. Movement of the hip comes first, then the knee, then the foot extends and lands the kick, right? So again, I'm gonna step out, bring my kick, Boom. Um, so I'm going to stop this and show you here that the position it should land in. Oh, I want to blind my opponent, right? Not only am I blinding him so he can't see it, but I'm also giving him like a stiff arm in case he tries to counter me, right? It's just good basics. My, le my left hand is up, my right hand is in his face blocking any kind of counter he has coming at me. Now with my kick, my shin is landing, right? I want to land my kick right here to the middle of my shin. It's the most dense and I can create the most speed with it, okay? But again, I'm going to land this kick here. But look what's in line. I got my knee, my hip, and my belly button all in line. They're all facing this way, right? The whole reason why I stepped out. If I don't step out and I kick, look where it's all facing. Look where I'd be facing at now. Everything would be facing my opponent, which is dangerous for takedowns, dangerous for counter punches, and it all. So making sure you, you rotate, get your head outside, and step outside is going to be all the technique of my leg kick, right? And I'm going to be chopping downwards at that leg. My kick doesn't come straight across it comes down, kind of like I'm, I'm chopping wood, right? If I was chopping a tree, I'm not gonna chop the tree straight across, I'm gonna chop at an angle and chop at an angle, take that chunk out. Same thing as chopping someone's leg down, right? You, you hear people say, chop him down by his leg, then he's kicking him, right? And I'm kicking downwards. Again, so I'm, I'm in my stance, I'm gonna step out, I'm gonna bring that leg kick down, right? And again, my knee, my hip, and my belly button are all in line, I'm blocking here, right? That's gonna be our outside leg kick. Um, if in a fight, I'm trying to aim right above that knee. This is where I want to hit to really damage someone, right? If I'm doing it for practice and I'm just in the gym with my partner, I take care of my partner, I try to kick him in the middle of the leg, it's less damaging, right? So if you're drilling with your partner and you got shin pads on, kick him in the middle of the thigh. But if you're in a fight and you're looking to, to finish that fight, kick him right above the knee. There's no muscle there. It really messes with the tendons and ligaments there, right? So again, we're at our fight stance. I'm going to step out. I'm going to rotate my hips, I'm going to land this leg kick here, right? Again, I'm blocking. I keep stopping to show you guys the position, but when you do it on the bag, don't stop. Recoil that leg, right? Because I don't want to get used to getting a kick and falling into it. I want to bounce my leg off that bag, right? So again here, I'm going to chop down this tree, I'm going to kick that, I'm going to step out, I'm going to bring my leg back. See how I bounce right back to my original stance? Again, I'm going to step in, step out, kick back, Lock and come back. Right, right back in the fighting stance. In case my opponent comes, I can throw my right hand, I can throw another kick, I can mix them up, I can kick low, I can kick high, which we'll get there, right? For now, rep your leg kicks out. This is what's going to get your endurance in your hips and get used to throwing kicks, right? So again, I'm here in my stance, I'm going to step out, I'm going to rotate my leg, and really chop that leg down. 
right? That is the outside rear leg kick. Next, I'll be showing you inside leg kicks. For the victory lap, though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't 